Elizabeth Williamson. She is a New York Times features writer, but more importantly, she has been in that courtroom every single day. You can follow her on Twitter. She's also the author of the book on this case, Sandy Hook, An American Tragedy and the Battle for Truth. Welcome, Elizabeth. Thank you, Linda. It's great to be with you. Now, you titled your book The Battle for Truth. Is there a battle for truth going on in that courtroom, and who is winning? Absolutely. And I would have to say, of course, that the families are winning. First of all, they're present. There are eight victims' families and an FBI agent who was implicated in these bogus theories that Alex Jones spread for years. Um, he has already lost these defamation cases. He lost four defamation cases filed by the Sandy Hook families late last year because he failed to comply with discovery. So right now, this is just about damages. He is um, ostensibly, his lawyers are trying to persuade the jury to um, deliver a smaller damages verdict against him. Uh, but he hasn't been in the courtroom much. He's been holding forth outside the courtroom. And in the meantime, the families are telling their stories about exactly what they have suffered after he spread these lies about the shooting that killed these 20 children and educators, six educators. Yes. And Elizabeth, the jurors are right there with the family members. How are the family members reacting and how are the jurors more importantly reacting? Do you see any body language that you could pick up on? Yeah, I think you saw most of that on Thursday. I mean, um, the jurors have been fairly, um, you know, uh, they've kept kind of their facial expressions sort of neutral. Um, but Thursday, that was different. Um, when Alex Jones said, I'm done apologizing for Sandy Hook, I'm done apologizing, um, when he blew up and, and was calling, you know, the act of calling out the families, introducing him to the families, a struggle session, saying, are we in China? Um, this was something where I noticed among the jurors a lot of raised eyebrows, some shaking of heads. Um, it was a pretty shocking moment. It was just kind of chaotic um, for several minutes there, and um, that was definitely registering on the jurors' faces.